Hello everyone, it's Evie and I am participating in the washi tape challenge um, that was assigned for this month do, uh, with the Click Kits design team. And all we're trying to do is get some inspiration on creative ways on how to bust out all of our washi tape that we probably have an abundance of. Now this washi tape though is um, included in the September 2017 click kit. It's by Carpe DM and it's the it's like a red and black buffalo plaid color I call it. So it it um, almost reminds me honestly this is the color scheme I did for my December daily last year. So it's interesting to be working with it again um, not in Christmas time. So I want I've done a similar layout to this. Um, using the branding strips of pattern papers so to work with washi tape was very similar and I'm trying to create like another plaid in essence on my layout I'm doing it in a diagonal and it came out pretty good like don't get me wrong um there's I, I played around with thicknesses so like if I did two strips of washi tape then a normal strip and then I did like a third of it and then I cut a couple pieces in half so that I got like the really skinnier pieces. So this is something that you can do with any washi tape in your collection that has like a repeating pattern like this. Um, in case you want to just like get more use out of the washi tape that I know that we all collect way too much of, right? <laughs> so due to the fact that the color scheme is like red and black, and you'll see I, I do a cut file with like the hunter green pattern paper from the kit as well. These are very masculine colors in my opinion. And so I wanted to scrap a picture of my male doxy named Kobe. Um, it's a cute picture anyway, but I just thought like all of my like beach pictures and all my cute pictures with my sister just wouldn't go with these colors necessarily. So like I said, like, I can do this layout again with colorful washi and then scrap a different picture, but it worked out well. <laughs> so after this, I will definitely be adding a little bit of mixed media with my mists very shortly. And yes, you can see my wee little um, iPhone in the upper left-hand corner. I believe I am watching Miss Missy Whedon, I think. Yeah, I think that was her video. It might have been Inky Quill, though, too. Let's be honest. I'm obsessed with both those ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the cut file that I was talking about too. So it's like a circle. You'll see it again. Um, cut file that I believe is from Paper Issues. Um, and then, so here I am using some Shimmer Mist. That was Olive Branch. Then I'm using Lindy Stamp Gangs in um, Clam Bake. And then Shimmers again in Egg egg noggin. So I just wanted to pull in some more greens and these like nice gold colors and I was impatient so I didn't let it dry so I dabbed up the wetness with paper towel. Whatever. It still looks good. <laughs> and so here I am now when I'm placing the die cut I just want to make sure that I'm using my new fine line bottle because I clogged up my last one and I had to go to Hobby Lobby again and buy another one because I always forget to put the lid on my darn fine line bottle like as soon as you do that once like it just like the glue gets all dried up in there and nothing fits but that cap and then the cap doesn't fit anymore I've bought so many fine line replacement caps it's ridiculous does anyone else have this trouble or is it just me <laughs> So um, I wanted to give a soft little edge to my photo. So this is just some tracing paper. I feel like tracing paper gives the same illusion like vellum. So it's a little tip for you as well. Like when you don't want to splurge on vellum pieces, just buy a pad of tracing paper and it gets the same thing. I'm using some fun foam to pop up my picture to add some dimension to my layout as well. And then I'm going to be thumbing through my stash for kind of elements that I'll use along the right side of the photo. So like that was an old crepe paper heart, um, crepe paper little thing that was from a Valentine's Day collection. I took off the part that said Valentine's Day. And then these are all just pieces that are sitting on my stash in containers. You know how we all have that like gather some little bits of other things. So I don't know all the collections, but I'm using my stash folks, I'm using my stash. Um, and I have, like, even that flare. I want to say the flare is Studio Calico, and it actually has a doxy on it. So stop it if that totally worked for my layout. <laughs> then this, like, I have one random glitter red heart. I don't know where it's from. I forgot what layout it is. 
but hey, I'm going to pick up some more of that red. These are Studio Calico chipboard um, stars. So I'm using a few of the red ones. There was also like navy on that page and yellow. And then these are freckled fawn enamel hexagon dots that were from a former kit, but I still had some sitting on my desk. So like I said, just thumbing around with my stash. It was actually a good little consumption of some elements. Now the awesome is from Fancy Pants Dream On Collection and that is included in this month's kit. And then these alphas are from my stash. I believe these are actually just simply from Target, if I'm not mistaken. So my awesome dog is the title of my layout and it came together really well. I'll do some journaling under that and that'll wrap it up. So if you want to participate, please join us at the Click um, Facebook group and participate. You'll win a gift card um, to the Click Kit, Click Kit Shop and play along with your washi tape and see if you can recreate this layout. It was super fun and easy. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you guys again. Bye.